Hi, and welcome to another Radan technical video. This month's video concentrates on a method for developing direction control statements within Radan's order mode environment. The direction command is used to control the cutting direction in subsequent window punch and window profile commands. Adding a direction command statement to the order text can be done using the cutting direction command dialog. The cutting direction dialog contains various controls that allow you to specify the parameters to the direction command. When you click OK, the direction command will be added to the order text after the current line selected. If the verification of the compiled program produces the results you're after, the direction command can then be copied from the current order text window to an auto order file so as to produce the same results automatically for future nests. Let's examine this technique to develop a better machining sequence using direction control. We're starting with this simple part containing feature patterns of a simple hole and a form louver feature. The tools used to make this part are a round punch for the holes, a special louver tool, and a rectangle tool for slitting the part from the sheet, as shown in the tool list on the right. Moving on to programming a nest of this part, Using a default order control file in order mode, the program is eventually compiled. Then when the program is simulated in verification mode, we can see that the order control results are less than ideal. The tool path basically wanders around the sheet moving to the next nearest tool hit in no particular order. So although the tool changes are limited, as we would expect, the machining order for each tool is less than optimal. For starters, the round tool hits would be more efficient if starting along the top edge of the sheet and working towards the clamps at the bottom edge of the sheet, working left to right and back to left across the sheet, one row of holes at a time. So we'll first work on optimizing the order the round holes are punched. Changes to machining order are made in order mode, so switching back to order mode, we'll use the cutting direction tool to add a direction control statement to the current order text that makes the round tool machine across the sheet, starting along the edge of the sheet adjacent to corner 3, which is the top edge of the sheet, and we'll increment the order window toward the bottom edge of the sheet adjacent to corner 1. The image in the cutting direction dialog previews the direction the order window increments over the sheet. Selecting the current order text line above the line that loads the round tool sets the location where the direction statement will be inserted into the text window. Notice the new direction command line added just before the text line loading station 3, the station with the round tool. After compiling the new machining order, We'll see in the verification that the round tools are processing in order of the direction control statement we just added using the cutting direction control dialog. The simulation shows the row format order defined in the direction command starting along the top edge of the sheet, incrementing toward the bottom of the sheet. Now that we have the direction control defined for the round tool, we'll copy the direction command line to an auto order file. To copy text within the current order text window, you first double click the line of text you want to copy, which activates an edit field with that line of text. From that edit field, we can select and copy the text line to the Windows clipboard. Then using the auto order command, access and edit the auto order file we want to add the direction command line to and paste the text line into the appropriate section of the auto order file, which in this case is the section of the auto order file for round tools. Now that the verified order command statement has been added into an auto order text file, we can apply this order instruction to future nests automatically. In this particular nest we also have a form feature that requires an extra level of direction control so as not to damage previously formed features. For this example, we need to make sure the louver tool processes only from the left to the right side of the sheet and not back and forth like the round tool does. 
Using the cutting direction dialog again will identify a primary direction to go along with the direction command statement. In this particular nest we also have a form feature that requires an extra level of direction control so as not to damage previously form features. For this example we need to make sure the louver tool processes only from the left to the right side of the sheet and not back and forth like the round tool does. Using the cutting direction dialog again we'll identify a primary direction to go along with the direction command statement. So continuing on in the program verification, you can see the louver is using the same direction control as the round punch did. Direction commands used in auto order files are modal. That means they stay active throughout the order control until another direction command is used further down the auto order text file. Using the same technique as before, we'll select the location we want to insert another direction command statement into, then add the statement using the cutting direction command again. Keeping all previous settings the same as the last command, we'll just add the primary direction command option. To check out this order change, we'll compile this new order, and in verification, we'll see the louver feature machining order is now restricted to processing from the left to the right edge of the sheet only. And after each row, the machine rapid traverses back to the left edge to process the next row from left to right and each subsequent row after that. So now that we have verified the additional direction command statement, we'll copy and paste that statement from the current order text window into our auto order file again. This time within the section for special tools like the louver tool. So future nests requiring this tool can be ordered automatically. In summary, we've seen that the cutting direction command dialog is a simple and intuitive way to add a direction statement to a nest current order text. Once the direction command statement is verified to provide the required control, it can easily be copied into an auto order file for use with future nests. Don't forget that any direction command encountered within an auto order file stays active or modal for all other tool definitions throughout the rest of the auto order file until another direction command is encountered. Thanks for watching this tech video and stay tuned for more videos from the Ray Dan Resource Newsletter.